Good morning, Americanos. One of the topics that uh, that I have uh, kind of dipped my toe in, in and out throughout my YouTube career here, is uh, relationships, right? And uh, men and women dating, or you know, uh, <laughs> I swear uh, all the Karens come after me for this uh, when I when I post it because they don't understand. They're, they're not looking at it from both sides of the spectrum, right? They're not looking from it from a two-way street. They're just looking at it as their point of view, and that's it, right? They're not looking at it from a man's point of view, right? And this could also go toward men as well. I'm, I'm going to repeat that several times because for some reason, I start talking, and I will say this applies to men and women, and they, I say it that one time, and it just like goes in one ear and out the other. And all they hear is women, 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 women. So the thing is, is like when you're young, hot smoking body, right? And you're, uh, you know, you're, you're on the scene, on the scene, playing whatever, in and out of relationships, right? Hey, you're young. I get it, right? You want to have fun. You want to do things because uh, you're not thinking about is this guy a loser? Is she a gold digger? Is um, does he have a bunch of kids? Does she have a bunch of kids? Does he work? Does he live at home with his mom? Does she live at home with her mom? You know, um, do they have a disease? You don't think about those things as a as a person on the dating scene, right? You're just you got a hot body. You're ready to hook up. They're ready to hook up, right? Things happen and you come out pregnant or it's the nightmare boyfriend or Karen girlfriend from hell that won't leave you alone. Uh, you're in miserable. And then the thing is, is some people will get out of that relationship, have a second chance as we all do, we want, and they'll fall right back into the same type of person. And I'm like, oh, did you not learn? Okay, same thing happens again. They, they get out of that one. They they find themselves another third person, a fourth person. And I'm like, I, th I think this is what you're attracted to. And yet it doesn't work. All right. And again, this goes for men and women. I'll keep saying that men and women. This goes to men and women. I find that people get real agitated. Like, well... Who are you and and why does it matter to you and why do you care and blah 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 and this and that i'm like i'm just trying to offer you some advice uh, i have my shit together you know not perfect but i have my shit together and and here's the thing that made me think about this i was um i was turning at the stop sign back there because i had to go back home and get something and uh i saw this this lady driving by in a car and i'm thinking ooh, i'm like all the time has not been good to you. And it, and it reminded me of a classmate. About a year older than me. Was, I mean, she looked good back in the day. Smoked a lot of cigarettes. Drank a lot. Partied a lot. You know, did some extra activities with smoking. You know, it took a toll on her. She looks like a grandma. Like an old. She looks like she's 60 years old. And she's about a year older than me. I'm about to be 47. She looks like she's in late 50s, about to hit 60. Just wrinkled, shriveled. And I'm like, God dang. Like, oh my goodness. Like, you should look like me as far as my age goes. <clears throat> and I know Prince Charming. I, I understand that. I know before you throw any comments or any negative, uh, I, I understand that. But I'm not in that situation. I got my shit together been married for a long time raised my kids um you know married divorced you know learn from the first one moving forward and that's what i would say take out of this not to tell you how to date someone what to look for i mean i can tell you those things and most people don't listen but learn from them but the ultimate goal should be to find a partner a lifetime partner a long-term partner but find a partner while you can because as you get older and you look like Grandma Plus, it's a lot harder. Right out.
One more thing. I was getting my breakfast taco, and one of the waitress walks out, and the cashier, older Hispanic lady, kind of heavy set, tells the white um, waitress at a Mexican restaurant, <laughs> yes. Um, he go, she's like whispering to her, and I kind of made out while the girl was ringing me. The other girl was ringing me up. She's like, she goes, am I pregnant? She goes, girl, no. She goes, I got a beer belly. She goes, I lost 65 pounds. Get out. Um, <clears throat> she goes, get out of here with that stuff. And then she goes, how'd you do it? She goes, I didn't eat no chips. But it sounded like she said, I, she sound, it sounded like she said, I don't eat no shits. <laughs> so, which reminded me, two things you never ask a woman. Her age and if she's pregnant. Right out.